Okay. All right, I'm live. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. All of you who um, are here before the chat, Bobby has been here for an hour since 10 a.m. And thank you. He is so funny. He's making, he, he's like our host in the chat. He's making sure everybody has a seat. He's having everybody do the wave. If you don't join in on the chat before the video, you're missing out on a lot of fun. Everybody, hello. Thank you all for all of those who keep returning every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, tell me where you guys are all from. And while I make these announcements, okay, before I forget, Mystery Box comes tomorrow night, December, what's today, 16th, December 17th, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be doing a video. I've had this box for a while, and I haven't done a video yet, so I have to do that today because I've been sick, but I'm no longer sick. I'm much better. I'm actually better than I was before I was even sick. So I'm feeling awesome. And what else did I have to tell you? Oh, after this video, we're going to do a um, opening viewer mail video. I usually do that on the first Saturday. I did it last Saturday and doing it again because I got so much stuff. So I wanted to open it before Christmas and wanted to make sure you guys saw everything. So we're going to be doing that. As soon as this video is over, there's a link to that video in the cards at the top. So if you click, not there, over here, over there, if you click up there to the little I, you will get a link. Actually, there's links to my other Design Space Live videos. There's links to Cricut videos, official Cricut videos, little short videos to show you Design Space. And the video I did yesterday, there's... Um, a link to that and then a link to the video I'm about to do after this video. Thank you. Hey, Joan. I want to say hi, Ke hi to Keona and Sheila Rogers number one and Sheila Rogers number two and Michael and Terrence and Bobby and Joyce and there's Viola and Vivian and... Who else do we have here? Jamie, Jamie Lemmer, 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 Lemmer. Jamie Leonard is always here helping out. And she's also the admin in my Cricut Design Space uh, Facebook group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. So thank you all for coming. Yeah, you guys are just awesome. So how many do we have here today so far? 165? All right, thanks for coming. And before we do anything else, Sheila Rogers, you may need to close your ears. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Okay, we're done with that. Song's over. They did have a sing-along beforehand. Um, thanks, guys, for the thumbs up. You're awesome. Hi, BB and Jira and Donna and Mary and Ronnie. Nice to see you all here. Okay, and I love it when you guys join in on the chat. Oh, I wanted to say something else. There is a community on YouTube now. If you haven't noticed... If you go to my channel, I'm going to put the link right here and um, you just go to my channel. If you're watching this video later on, you can click on my name and it'll take you to my channel and then you'll see tabs at the, at the top that will say community. You can click on community. So I'm now able to share things that I share on Facebook and other things in the community. I won't be sharing as much as I share on Facebook because I share a lot on there. But I will share like when the mystery box is coming out, I shared that. I also asked a question, what do you want to see in this video? So I um, may ask that question. I think you can post things to it. I'm not really sure. It's really new. I know I can post, but I've not 
try it on someone else's channel. So I'm not sure. But I can post pictures and take polls and post videos and things. So when there's a great, awesome sale at Cricut, I will post it on that. Also, I don't get notified when you comment, but I try to remember to go back and check to see if you guys have commented. So that's, I think that's pretty awesome because I know not all of you are on Facebook and see my other post. Or if you want to, even when you're on Facebook in the groups, my posts get lost, but you can come here and maybe see those posts easier. All right, are you guys ready? Um, if you subscribe to my channel during this video, you'll see your name on the screen. Just wanted to point that out. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm working to get 100,000 subscribers and I'll be doing a big giveaway when I reach that goal. Uh, Tracy's wondering about the different knives for Cricut. The knife blade is coming out next year. They thought it was ready, but it wasn't ready. It wasn't up to their specifications how they wanted it. So they had to, they have to wait until it's finished. Uh, there will be more things, more tools coming out for the adaptive tool system. I don't know what they are. I know there's a lot. That's all I know. Thanks for liking my haircut. Okay, are you guys ready to see Design Space? If you guys have questions, please put them in all capitals if you're in the live video. If you're watching later and in the comments, you don't have to do all caps, but I like to see the questions. I can see them better in all caps. So sometimes there's just some chit chat going on. I don't have to read all of that right now. Okay, let's go to design space. Okay, so I made, okay, let's go back. Let me show you what I'm doing today. So I made the shaped card. This was in my last video. I also did an easel card with the same image. So I'm gonna show you how to make any image into a shaped card. It does have to have a background image. Maybe, maybe not. That's how I usually do it, but maybe I could make one. Um, so this is the card and then you open it up and says Merry Christmas. You can write on top of this and write on the inside. So with this type of a card, you can write on both sides. I don't know if the maker will come out in color. Well, all the machines have come out in color. I have no clue. I was told not this year. This year's almost over, but I really know nothing. Okay. Uh, design space. Here we are. Okay. I did have some images up here I was playing with and I'm like, I'm going to, there's so many new people to design space. I'm going to show you how to find the images. So you click on images. There are so many people that don't know that are new and they don't know how to find the things in design space. So I want to make sure you guys know everything. And I'm going to just show you this. So many people do not know how to find the free cut for the week. You click on categories and you click here. So let me explain this. This is a really popular question. Do these stay free forever? No, the answer is no. But you can see these are in access because they have the green little flag with the A. So they're always free if you have access. If you don't have access, they're only free for the week. The week starts on Wednesday and ends on Tuesday. So every Wednesday, there's usually a new set free. I try to share it, sometimes I forget. So this time it's the Christmas cartridge. So all these are free to use. If you put them in a project and save them to your own project, they will stay there. They won't stay free. If you don't have access, when you go to cut, it'll ask you to pay for it or you can join access. That's for every, there's 60, over 60,000 images in Cricut Design Space. You can design with any of them. And then when you go to cut them, that's when it'll ask you to pay for them. I really like this one over here. 
the little reindeers and Santa and the moon. Okay, that's not why we're here. Let's go back to images. Okay, so I am going to find an... I love this bear. Actually, we could even do that bear. Let's bring him in. Um, I want to do a cupcake too. I don't want to just do Christmas. Because Christmas is almost over. So I just type in cupcake. And I want to show you, look at these two cupcakes. They look exactly the same. I'm going to show you if there's... This is not a mistake. They're actually different. I don't know why I'm looking into the camera while I'm talking to you. So let's just bring these in. You can see these two cupcakes at the bottom and the bear. So for now, we're going to work with these. Okay, I'm going to move the bear to the side because we're, I'm just, I just want to show you the difference in these cupcakes. Now over here, you'll notice this one is hidden in each one. So any image that's by Cricut, it usually hides the back image. You don't have to cut that, but you can. Do you see the difference in the, these images? The difference is the lines here. Let me hide the little cupcake. So this one has the lines all the way through. So when the cupcake is there, it's black. And this one is solid there and then shows pink in the little lines. So that's the only difference. So I'm just going to delete this. Okay, now we're going to make this into, um, I'm sorry, I'm reading. Newbie question. I made a shape of a petal. Oh, hold on. I lost it. I made a shape of a petal and put a line on the bottom. How do I tell the machine to cut it? Um, to cut the line, you put a score line, you just tell it to cut. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so we have this. Now this is, the images with layers come in all grouped together. So we're going to ungroup. Ungroup is in the top of the layers panel, second line over, ungroup. So now we need this background. Whenever it has a background and we're making a shaped card like the card I made, we need to duplicate this. So we're taking the background and we're clicking duplicate. It's right next to the ungroup. So now we have that. So let's Let's just put these back over together. Okay, I can group this back together now. And then this will be the inside of the card. I don't want it black. I want it white. You can make it any color you want. You can make anything, any color you want, guys. This black piece here, I'm selecting it in the layers panel. See how it's a darker gray? And click on the little circle. And I can change the color if I want it to be to blend in more I can make it that color you don't have to make it black you can change anything to any color you want oh that looks better okay now you can even okay are you guys ready for this you can even make this print selecting it all and click flatten so now that top piece will print oh let me show you something else let's i'm going to undo so actually is it print nope it's still all cut now i undid it i'm going to change this middle one to print And I'm going to add a pattern. So I'm going to click this pattern right here. Marlene asked why I duplicate. I'll show you in a minute why I duplicate, because I need the inside of a card. I 
I just showed how to change the color. There is a gap here. So maybe um, how do you change the color or cut or write for multiple layers? You have to do one at a time. You can't do them all at once. So, oh, I wonder what this would look like. So I made this pink layer here, print, clicked on pattern, and now it's taking a minute. And then I can go down here and edit. Let's flip it. So I want more pink. I can also let's do twenty five. Okay, let's keep it that. So you can edit the pattern and where it's at. You can flip it, move it horizontal, vertically. And now just this top piece will print and then I can put that on there like that. Now this piece, you know what, this is really small. So we need to size this a little bigger. So I have to select them both. And all I'm gonna do is drag this corner here. There, move the little bear out of the way. So now all I need to do is put a score line here, really anywhere I want. Um, so I'm gonna click on shape, click on score line. Now to move the score line and make it perfectly across, I'm gonna hit my shift key. I'm holding down shift and moving this and it'll stay straight. Uh, let's put it there. Okay, um, now in order for this, let's go ahead and hit go. I'm gonna hit make it, it used to say go. Hi Lynn. Okay, so it's gonna print the bear because the bear's there. Now let's look at this. This is just the score line. I put that score line on the cupcake. Why is it not there? That is a huge question I get all the time. So I'm going to show you. And then here's the other ones. Okay, we are going to cancel. Oh, this cupcake costs 99 cents. Okay, um, we have to select it. I don't want to select it. I want to hold my mouse button down, scroll up, just to cover everything I want to select. And now if we look over here in the layers panel, the score line and the cupcake are selected. So now we go down here and click attach. So now when we hit make it, we only have one mat with the score line and that. I know so many of you already know this, but there's so many new people too. So now you can be done with this. And what you do is you glue Put glue here above the score line and glue this piece right on top of it and point this down. And I showed you in here, let me show you this card. So, okay, so this is a card like that. So I glued this on it. See, this is the back, this is the score line. I glued that on and then I went and folded this like this. You'll see that in my last video if you missed that video. You can watch that and see me put together this card. Um, oh, let me go to design space again. Now, you probably want to add some text in there. Happy birthday. Okay, I want a line there. Now, this comes up. I want to click alignment. I want it centered. Now, 
I could do that. I could cut this out of vinyl. I could cut this out of HTV or iron on vinyl. You can iron on to paper. Um, but to be honest, I want to write it. So much easier to write it. And you can click, you can select different. I want cricket ones because those are the ones of writing style. Hmm. Oh, wait. Let me click filter and click writing. What's that one look like? Oh, I don't like that one. You can't read it very well. Okay, there's one. Oh, uh, here's another thing to do. Line spacing. I want it lines closer together. You can do it that way. You can move the letters closer together. I can separate this by lines. So I can do that now. If I hit go, this is not going to be on here. Remember, I have to go up here and attach it. Select it all and attach. Okay, now are there any questions about what I just did? Does anybody not understand? I'm going to go back and see. Thanks all for the likes. And somebody did ask why I duplicated. I want to also say this again. You want this piece and this back piece to be the exact same size. Here, let me bring this to the front. Click Arrange, Move to Front. You want it to look like this when it's done. And then to open up, you know, you won't see this up here. So anything up here will not be seen. Down here it will. And you can change the writing also. If you wanted. But it doesn't matter what color you put here. It's whatever color pen you put in. So if you're only using one color, which you can use two colors. I did use the easy press to iron on paper, yes. And you don't have to worry about the timing. I mean, I don't know if there's it's on there for a specific time. You don't need it too hot. Remember, the you're not going to wash the card, so you don't have to worry about it coming off so much. You just have to make sure it's on there. Where was the line separation? I don't quite understand that question. The score line is here because you're going to glue everything above it to this card. And then when you open it up, you'll see everything below it. Can the same thing be done on the front of the card? Well, you don't really want to, thank you, Kara Brunner, for subscribing. You don't really want to fold the front because it'll look nicer not folded. You can also add uh, writing to the front of the card. Let's do that real fast. Uh, letter spacing. You can move each letter also if you want. Like if you want to personalize this, I could attach this. Attach. Now it will print. 
this piece here and then it'll come back and write on this. So you can personalize these. You can write on the front and back. Yes, this will be on YouTube later. It's always here in the same link. Okay, let me go back to your questions. Iron on paper, what setting would you use? I don't remember what setting I used. Um, I don't think I made it too hot. I just test it and if it's sticking, it's good. You do not have to flatten each layer. You only flatten when you have two or more layers together that you're putting together. Does that make sense? And this I'll change to one color because this is grouped. I really should have ungrouped this and um, put the Jamie here. Now where's the Jamie? There it is. Let's move it to the front so I can move it. Let's put Jamie there and then attach this. Okay, put that there. Select this one, bring it to the front so we can see it. Whoops. And then select all of this and group it. There. That's how it should look. Um, okay, let's say we want to flatten this. I need to ungroup this. I need to remove that, so I'm gonna detach. I need to move this out of the way. I need to bring this back to the front, the cupcake thing. Okay, so if I wanted to flatten this, the green and the background is not set to print. It doesn't need to be set to print. It's not grouped together and nothing is attached. So I'm just gonna go up here and just make sure everything is selected. As you can see in the layers panel, it's all selected. Always look in the layers panel because that's where a lot of the mistakes are made. People say, I can't slice, I can't weld, I, I can't group or attach. It's because they're not all selected. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here at the bottom of the layers panel, down here and click flatten. So now this whole thing will print as that. You cannot, let me bring this to the front. You cannot print writing style. I could have changed this to a cut image and then flatten it on top of it, but I'm going to do it as this. So this will all print, and then I'm gonna put it back into the Cricut to cut out, and it will also write that name. Okay, let me get some more questions. I did not iron anything on. I was just saying you can iron things on. Where's the line separation for the writing? I don't understand the question. Um, you can write anything below this line, the score line. And you guys, the mystery box is coming tomorrow night. Can you center the Jamie? It's bugging me. I actually wanted it more off to the side. But I put it there because of the way the J is and how that goes. How much does it cost for access? Uh, $9.99 a month. Or if you buy yearly, I think it goes down to $7.99 a month. 
But you get 10% off everything you buy at Cricut if you get access. Okay, I'm trying to catch up on comments. The purpose of flattening it is so it will all print together. If you want it to print, you don't have to print this at all. Uh, Peggy's asking, when cleaning up an image in print and cut, is there a way to save your project and come back to it? When you're cleaning up an image, like uploading it, no. You have to clean it up and upload it all at once. Um, how do you make sure the Cricut will stop and let you change the pens? If you have different colors, the Cricut knows to stop. It will stop automatically. I've done projects with 10 different colors of pens. It stops for each one. I moved up the birthday word. How did I do that? Okay, let me show you again. I'll have to detach it. And these, I separated these. So I separated it by lines, it's already done, so well, let me do it again. You can move the writing anywhere you want. Okay. I think I got all the questions. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with the bear. Okay, so um, let's just move these things out of the way. Okay, so we want to make a shaped card with the bear. Let's make him, now he is only a print image. We don't have a choice on him. Lux is talking to me from the other room. I'm just going to move those things down. So we want to make... Sorry, I don't know that. <laughs> we are going to duplicate this. We are going to change this from print to cut. Although I said you can only print it, but you can change it to cut and it just changes to black. And then we want to change it to white. And we're making him a shaped card just like before. We're going to add the score line. We're going to hold down the shift key. Move this so it's across this way. And you can really put this anywhere you want. So when we open the card, you'll see everything below this card. Now remember, we have to select the score line and the back and go down here to the middle of the bottom of the layers panel and click attach. And now we are done unless we want to put some writing here. That's it. Belinda asks, I can just see her comment. Can you upload an image, work on it, save it and go back to it later and finish it up? No. Once you save it, you're done working on cleaning it up. I have lots of videos showing the difference in weld attach, uh, but I can show you too. I still have time. Alexa, turn off the lights in Michael's room. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't find light in Michael's room. <laughs> 
<laughs> Michael, did I turn your lights off? Sorry, I just had to. Okay. Oh, why is that all moving there? There we go. Okay. Okay, let me show you the difference in weld and attach. I get this question so much. I think I show it in every single live video. Okay, let's just change the colors. Um, I'm gonna go smaller. So, uh, let me do it over here. If I wanna attach these together, they're gonna change to the same color, which is not a good color for you to see with. There. Um, they're going to attach together, but where you see this line, this is gonna cut out. So you're gonna have a hole here. It's gonna do the, the same thing as slice would do. Let's detach this. Let's slice it. Now slicing it, you can actually move these pieces away. So it's gonna look like that. But if we just attached it and didn't slice it, it would actually do the same thing after it was cut because it still has the cut lines. Okay, now let's undo, bring it back. Okay, so now we have these. Now if we wanna weld them, let's, we have to select them both. Whoops. Oh, I don't wanna select this. Now I'm gonna weld it. Oh, no, I sliced it, sorry. So now welding it makes it one image. It will not cut out the rest of this like stop sign hexagon. It will be just like that if you weld it. So that's the difference of attach and welding. Are there any questions on that? Okay, I'm gonna go back and read the questions. Everyone's laughing at Michael. Does it matter if the score line is longer than the mat? Will it damage the mat? No, it won't damage the mat. <laughs> Somebody, Joanne's Alexa just said, we don't have a Michael's room. <laughs> Sheila had to turn her lights back on because you know who turned them off. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Okay, are there any more questions? Is there something you want to see? Do you... Every Saturday, I also do a video on contour. Oh, I keep getting confused where I'm at. Okay. Okay, let me show you something else. Let me duplicate this. Okay, we have these little things, okay? You can only slice two things at once. If I were to select all this, it would not let me slice because there's more than one layer. I have all these layers selected. Do you see that difference? Okay, this has nothing to do with contour yet. So now I'm gonna weld these together. Okay, now they're welded. As you can see in the layers panel, how they changed, they're only one image now. That's the difference of welding also, it's one image. Let me go back and attach them. 
Oh, let me undo. Okay, there. No, go back. Okay, so now I'm selecting them and now I'm going to attach them. Do you see how they're all different layers in the tat? In, but they're attached together, but they're still all different layers. It will not let me slice these because it's all these different layers. No slice option. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Go back over. Okay, so now I'm going to weld them back. Okay, so now see the difference? Okay, so now let's move the star over. Now I'm going to select them and I'm going to slice. It lets me slice because these are only two layers selected. Slice. And you have to pull one layer out and another layer. And that little guy. Okay, so now we're going to show you what contour means. So contour, I can go down here to contour. Oh, and because I cut this out, this became the outside piece. So I cannot get rid of that one. So if I wanted to fill these in again, I can't this one because it cut through the side. And I'm just going to go up here and click the X. It got rid of all these holes. If this was on the inside like the others, it would have done the same. And then I can always go back and add this. That's what contour does. And it'll come in handy. Okay, not in the star, but in other images, it may come in handy. Yes, you can flatten text. Um, you, whoops, you have to have it flattened to something. Well, I guess you don't, but it will just print out, um, Okay, that's writing style because that's the last I selected. I need it to be regular style. Let's change this to regular. Okay, you don't really want this to print itself just like this. Otherwise, then why not just do it on colored paper? I guess unless you don't have that color. You can change this. To print and do a pattern. Me and my patterns. I love patterns. <laughs> There's Ken Hess. What's it, what's it look like with Ken? Go to edit. I just love playing. Can you guys tell? Um, okay. Well, you can't see him too well, but let me make this bigger. You can see his forehead. Okay, so I have both of these selected. I have this selected and this selected. And I can go down here to the bottom and flatten it. So it will print all this and it will cut out the square. It will not cut this out. Let's go to make it. Oh, image is too large because it only prints so big. Okay, make it. I don't know why it's not showing that. Huh. 
probably because I'm doing a live video and using all the stuff for that. Now, sometimes you'll see this is blurry and I see the answer so many times, turn off bleed. Never turn off bleed. There's never a reason to turn off bleed unless you're not cutting it out and you're only printing. If it has bleed around it, that means it's going to cut out. If it's on a word, it's going to cut out each letter. If you don't want that, then you need to flatten it to a shape like I just did. Okay, let me go back and check the questions. Does it undo do the same thing? I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> Joan says, look like, a, look like a mouse turned the star into Swiss cheese. That's cute. Yes, when you're doing print and then cut, you send it to the printer by just clicking the make it and then there's a button to print. And then when it's done printing, you go get it out of the printer and put it on your mat and load it up to cut. Thank you so much, Kokisha Warren, for the Okay, I'm reading your comments. Viola. Oh, hi, May May. Um, Viola says, I hope they have the cartridge adapter released soon. If you don't have a machine where you can link your cartridges, you can call support and they will link it for you. The cartridge adapter is for the people who have the maker. There's no way to link your cartridge. So then you hook this up to your computer and you can link them that way. It's only to link your cartridges. The cartridge adapter is in Cricut, on the Cricut website, but it actually says out of stock. It was never in stock yet. It has not been released. Um, doing a super chat. If the money comes from a credit card or PayPal, I'm not... I don't remember. It comes from my credit card because that's how I have it set up. Um, you can click on it and do that. I mean, you have to approve it. So it'll ask you. Yeah, let me check the website for the adapter. Sheila says it's out, but did you actually click on it? Maker accessories. I'm going to it now. It's on sale, but it's out of stock. It's not re been released yet. Oh, the Delight Girl says if your design does not show when you go to make it, hit the screen, hit apply at the top, and it will show. I've never had that problem, so I've never even tried to fix it. 
Oh, it is working now. So she means apply up here. Did you guys know you can apply as many projects as you want? So I just clicked five and clicked apply. So now it's, oh, there it is. Thank you so much, Joanne, for the $5 super chat. You guys, I'm going to be opening viewer mail in just 10 minutes in another video. So we're going to do another video. So if you need to cut out more projects, you can just put the amount here and click apply. Thank you, Mary N, for the $10 Super Chat. Super Chat is something that people, if they want to donate money because they appreciate what you're doing, I don't make money from these videos. I make very little from the ads on the videos. So it's just a way to kind of tip me. Okay, Wanda is asking how to weld... Um, text that isn't touching well you can weld any kind of text let me unflatten this but if you want it to touch like i can let me change this to cut so i'm just going to click cut up here so it changes it back to cut i can weld this it doesn't have to be touching it's still going to cut out each letter so you want it to touch, you can do letter spacing and move them. I don't find it usually does it the way I want it to. Like these are touching and stuff. So you can ungroup it. Ungroup. I think it was ungrouping it. And then you can just click each letter and move them closer together. You can do it with the mouse like I'm doing it, or you can do it with the key, the arrow keys on the keyboard. Let me select this. Let me make it bigger so you guys can see the difference. Do you see how these cut lines, if I keep this like this, they are going to cut out of each other. But if I click weld, it's one piece. Oh, I didn't weld these two together. So this would be one piece and this would be one piece. So if I saw that mistake afterwards, I would undo. These guys got to move out of the way. I would select these three, move them closer. Now select them all and weld again. Uh, no, I don't think you can do super chat on iPad. Yes, I will have a video for the mystery box. I don't have a video yet for the mystery box. I have to record that today after my next video. Yes, it will be 11 p.m. Yes, Mamie, that's a good point. If you weld them, even if they're not touching, it turns them into one image so you can slice them. Thank you so much, Charlotte. All right. I think that's it for today because I need to set up for my next video at noon. And I really appreciate you guys. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be here next Saturday, the 23rd. It's right before Christmas. If you want to um, let me know what you want to see, go to my community. Remember, I you can now go to the community. I s explained this in the beginning, uh, where now I have posts. And I was going to set up a poll. I'm like, but I don't know what poll questions it was going to make me do a poll with certain ones. I would rather, I might ask a question than you guys answer. 
Yeah, and tomorrow is the mystery box. It's the first time on a Sunday. Thank you so much, May May. Thanks for the thumbs up. The mystery box video will be when the mystery box is released in the store. Sometimes it's early, sometimes it's late. As soon as it's released, I will let you know. So um, as soon as it's released, I send out an email. You can join my email. It's bit.ly.com slash email from Melody. There's a link in the description of this video for my email to join that. And I post it on Facebook. I release my video as soon as it's done. I have a line of things in my browsers that I do. As soon as it's released, I send that all out and post on Facebook. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, Joan. Bye, May May. Bye, Jamie. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. And we'll be here again next Saturday morning at 11. Love you guys. Bye.